My dear friends, in this section of the video, I am going to discuss on how to avoid dust mites. I am Dr. B.V. Balachandra, Consultant Pediatrician and Allergy Asthma Specialist, Allergy Central. You all know that it's a one-stop solution for allergy and asthma. First thing we need to understand is, what is dust mite allergy and what is dust allergy? Is there a difference? Let's understand first the difference between these two. Dust mites are actually a living organism which are very, very small, tiny creatures. They are in microns in size and they cannot be seen by our eyes. Dust mite is present in everyone's house. It really doesn't matter how clean is your house because dust mites are present inside the bed, pillows, soft ties, carpets and sofas and we can't see them. So it is present in cleanest of the cleanest houses also. Whereas dust is a different thing. Dust are small particles, they are inorganic particles present in everywhere. Say it may be present inside the house, it may be a road dust or a construction dust. Dust by itself cannot cause allergy, but dust can worsen the existing allergy. It might irritate the nose and worsen the existing allergy. So dust might can cause allergy. Dust cannot cause allergy, but dust can worsen the existing allergy. Now, in this section of the video, I am going to discuss about seven steps what you can follow in avoiding or managing dust mite allergies. You need to follow all the medications what your doctor has advised and these measures can help you to reduce the medications. The first and foremost point which I want to discuss is allergen proof covers. Use of allergen proof beddings that is encase your mattresses, pillows, blankets with allergen proof covers. These covers are designed in such a way they reduce the dust mite coming outside and coming in contact with your skin. Please note that this allergen proof covers doesn't 100% reduce your symptom. It can probably reduce your severity of the symptom a bit. If dust mite proof covers are not available, they are pretty expensive also. If they are not available or expensive, there is another idea which you can follow that is use a good quality plastic covers on your bed on your pillows on top of it use a bed sheets or bed spreads and this might also prevent your dust mite penetration however i know that it's little uncomfortable to sleep on the plastic but you might do your best the second important point is washing the beddings or bedding clothings now wash all the uh, cloths like uh, bed sheets, blankets, pillow covers, everything in hot water at about 65 degrees centigrade. And this should be done at least once a week to kill the dust mites and to denature the dust mite proteins. <coughs> the third point is humidity. Dust mites thrive very well in a highly humid environments. So maybe by reducing the humidity of your room, you might reduce the population of the dust mites. Dust mites, the humidity which you need to keep it is about 50 degree. Please note that the more you reduce the humidity, your skin will become dry. You need to balance it out. The fourth important point is carpets. Carpets also contain a huge amount of dust mite population. So please, whenever possible, remove the carpets completely. There are many times you may not be able to remove the carpets. In that case, you may have to vacuum it very regularly. But however, the suggestion would be replace the carpets with some kind of a hard flooring or a wooden flooring so that the dust mite collection can be reduced. Fifth point is cleaning the house. Cleaning the house preferably done with a vacuum cleaner. Use a vacuum cleaner with an EPA filter to remove the dust mites, which means when it is sucked, it should not come out from the other end of it. And you can also remove the dust mite droppings like the dander, everything. So use a vacuum cleaner also for your carpets, rugs, upholsteries. Whenever you are dusting the surfaces, use a damp cloth. Don't just dust the surfaces. There might be dust mites or storage mite dander which will be there which can go into your nose and cause symptoms. So use a damp cloth, including when you have to clean your furnitures or blinds or windows, use a damp cloth. Coming to the toys, we all know that dust mite allergy is very, very common in children and children are fond of toys. Whenever possible, avoid stuffed toys. But whenever not possible, because we know that it's not always so easy, 
you might have to wash the dust mites with hot water or just put a soft toy into the freezer leave it there for 24 hours dust mite uh, numbers will come down next is many of the houses have pets we all think that it is a pet allergy but actually dust mites can reside on the fur skin of the pets so if you are having a pets at the home please keep them away from the bedroom and not just that clean the pets very regularly maybe weekly once so this might remove the dust mite uh, population which is present on the pets on the, on the fur of the pets the last point is immunotherapy what is immunotherapy no matter what is said and done dust mite cannot be removed completely we do come across all the sudden things what we have discussed it need to be done very regularly then you might see some reduction in the symptoms but in spite of that 100 percent reduction of the symptom with dust mite allergies are not possible because it is not possible to remove dust mite completely so what is immunotherapy immunotherapy is nothing but when your doctor identifies that you are allergic to the dust mite he might suggest you dust mite immunotherapy that is he may want to make your body tolerate the dust mite like an any other person in the house or population instead of you reacting to the dust mite he wants to make you tolerate the dust mite so that your symptoms can come down significantly dear friends please note these avoidance measures to be followed on a regular basis and by doing these avoidance measures you can expect reduction in the symptom but it's not completely possible to avoid and remove the dust mite and we know that there is some amount of medical therapy is always necessary but please note your effort of reducing the dust mite exposure will help in reducing the medications thank you